The absolute best feeling is having some friends over to play a tabletop role-playing game and at the beginning of the game you throw down a hand-drawn map and watch their eyes light up in excitement with the possibilities of, of adventure. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple but awesome looking prop map that you can share with your players to get them excited about exploring your game world. So to make this prop map, you're gonna need a few things. First of all is some thick paper, watercolor paper, Bristol board, anything thicker than you know, regular printer paper, and it should be just plain white paper. You'll need a pencil to do a little bit of planning with, and some brown paint. I am using gouache in this video, but watercolor will also work. I got this set of gouache paints for $10 at Target. You don't need anything fancy, so don't think you have to go out and buy some crazy professional grade watercolors or anything like that. The cheap stuff works just fine for this kind of map. I'll have links to a few recommendations down in the description, but if you can't get your hands on any paint, there is another method. Bob the World Builder made an awesome video about how to stain paper, which is what we're doing with this paint. You're also gonna need a big paintbrush, not like a, a house painting paintbrush, but just a, a bigger watercolor or craft paintbrush. And then you'll need some sort of pen to draw the map. I'm using a brown fine liner Sharpie, microns, other Sharpies, whatever you have, just something you'll be able to draw the map with. Okay, first things first, we gotta take this very plain rectangular piece of white paper and make it look more like a, a, a piece of weathered parchment. So I'm gonna start by tearing the edges. I'm being rough and varied, but not too out of control with my, my paper tearing. You know, I still want a, a nice surface to draw on, but don't worry if there's any sort of weird rips or, or wonky corners. You want this piece of paper to, to have a little bit of character. Okay, next up we're gonna stain the piece of paper. We're gonna paint it. I'm using this plastic lid that came with the, the paint brushes I got as my palette. And the cool thing about these gouache paints is that you don't need much. Just like a little squeeze, a little dab of paint will be plenty. Now the first thing I noticed about these brown paints is that they're a little too brown. And we wanna get this paper looking like parchment. So I'm adding a little bit of yellow to the brown. I'm, I'm mixing burnt sienna with yellow okra paint. And I'm using lots and lots of water. I have this cup of water that I'm constantly dunking my brush in because gouache paint is usually meant to, to be nice and solid in color. You can get really saturated colors with this paint, but we don't want that. We want thinned out transparent paint. So I'm adding more water than actual paint. To get this stuff really watered down, the, the color should be almost transparent when you're pulling your brush through the mixed paint. And now we're on to the fun part. I'm just painting straight onto the paper. I'm keeping my brush super wet. Basically, I'm just coloring in the entire sheet of paper, but I'm not being too careful. I don't want it to be a, a solid, uniform color. So I'm really just having fun moving the color around with the brush being real messy and if I start to see any brush strokes I add more water and letting the, the paper soak up the color it's it's gonna warp the paper a little bit but that's okay because we want this to look like old weathered parchment okay so now that the paper is all colored in and very damp I'm gonna set it to the side and let it dry and grab my sketchbook and plan out the layout of my map so the map I'm making is for a little adventure I had for this game called Frontier Scum by Carl Druid. Awesome name. This is an acid western role-playing game. The rules are based on Morkborg and it's like a western but also there's like weird creepy stuff going on. The idea I have for this adventure is really simple. There's only a few locations so I'm just figuring out you know where they are in locations to each other. It takes place in Snakespit Canyon and there's this railroad that runs through the the desert. As you can tell I'm not being very precious with this layout at all. Just figuring out where things are going. And once I'm confident, then it's time to start drawing. So I'm using this brown fine tip Sharpie pen. My idea is that I wanna keep the map tonal so it looks like it's faded and old. And usually these kinds of pens are meant to make like really solid lines. So I, I didn't want solid black. I wanted it to look like 
faded black on this tan parchment. So that's why I'm using brown. I'm doing the lettering first and not being too perfect or precious about it. But labeling things first allows me to plan out where things going or and sort of like the scale of everything. And after I put the label down, I get into the drawing. Everything on this map is really simple. I don't want to spend too much time drawing. The buildings are really basic and blocky. They have just little dashes for windows and, and arches for doors. The train tracks really couldn't be any simple and I'm gonna add in some mountains later. I've got lots of other videos on the channel all about how to draw maps. I've even made a guidebook, several guidebooks. This one's called Flick Silver Pin's Guide to Making Maps and it takes you step by step how to draw mountains and forests and swamps and cities. It's fantasy themed, but once you follow the steps in this guidebook, you could apply the, the things you've learned to whatever kind of map you wanna draw. You can get the digital version by joining my Patreon or the physical version in my online shop. Okay, thank you for indulging me in that little advertisement. I hope you're noticing that I'm not being too precious about this drawing. I want things to be neat and legible, but I'm not keeping everything super uniform. You know, the train tracks are a little wonky and all, all the type kind of bounces around and stuff. And that's because I want this map to feel like it was made in the world like someone who lives in snake spit canyon drew this map you know they don't have any rulers or fancy tools to make all their lines perfect and straight it's just enough to to get the vibe of this place across now this map isn't complicated there's only six locations you know it's four uh, a short adventure. So you know this Rattler's Ridge, it was an old coal town and it was almost a ghost town until someone came in and took over the Holt Rock Ranch and found oil. Now all these people are flooding into the town but of course strange things have started to happen and people are seeing things that that would shake the boots right off their feet. Okay so the last thing I'm doing to this map is a totally unnecessary step. I'm just adding in a little bit of shadow to to the, the illustrated locations with some extra paint that's left over. Now, if you do this step, you wanna be really, really careful that the pen you use to draw the map is waterproof, because once you get that watered down gouache going over top of the illustration, it could totally smudge. So be careful and do a little test first. Okay, so my map of Snake Spit Canyon took me just a little less than an hour to make, but that time is gonna be so worth it when I throw this map down in front of my place. Layers. Just by tearing up the edges of the paper and adding that wash of brown gouache to make it look like a, a piece of old parchment really turns this into a, a prop instead of just a, a useful map, a useful tool to have at the table. It's like an actual artifact from the world and it's, it's a simple step that just makes the map extra special. Now you could just make a small area map like me. You could make a whole world map for a full campaign that is just always on the table for your players to look at and decide where to go. You could even make a, a prop treasure map. There's all kinds of fun ideas to be had. I hope this video is helpful and inspires you to make your own prop map for your TTRPG table. If you'd like to support the channel, I have a Patreon where I make monthly guidebooks and adventures that are filled with maps and drawings. I also have an online shop. Both are linked down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!